Hi everybody, my name is Dan Kober and this tutorial where I will show you how to make a road that will follow terrain in the way that road will be sliced into terrain on places and on others you will have a banking of the terrain that will follow the configuration of the road. So I have a, some simple terrain here, it doesn't matter what kind of terrain is, uh, what's the details on, t on the terrain topology or something like, like that. We just need it to be an object. So first we're gonna do, we're gonna make a line over our terrain that will represent our road. Something like this. Uh, First I'm gonna fix, select all, vert all vertices of this line and make them all corner, like that, great, and I'm gonna raise this line above the terrain so that I can better see it. Next I'm gonna enable option, enabling viewport, so that you can see this line, if you don't have select rectangular option and change the width and the height of this line so that you can easily work with it. Next we're gonna turn it into editable poly and delete bottom part of this line. So we have just one strip of polygons for our road. Next we're gonna place this road on top of the terrain by using under Compact Objects option Conform, click on Hide Warp to Object and pick from top view our terrain like this. Then again we're gonna turn this into Editable Poly. We're gonna lower this part that has that was left in the air like that. Then we're gonna select cross edge and click ring option. Then holding control key on your keyboard, press on polygon icon to select all polygons. So you can oh. Next we're gonna click connect option to get one edge in the middle and create shape from this, this selection. Choose the linear option and OK. Then we can delete this object that was that we used before. We don't need it anymore. Then we're gonna select this new line and turn off the enabling viewport option. Now what we have to do, we have to fix this line to go smoothly over the terrain. So some parts will We'll put them down, this one also, this part will have to go up, or maybe we can put it like this, uh, basically if you have some kind of plugin or script that enables you to paint lines over the objects you can use it to do this. So you don't need you can skip this per first part where I used object to make a line on the terrain. So it's just this is just a workaround if you don't have anything like that. I'm gonna put this one down. This one's okay. And let's say that the rest of it is also okay. We can like this so it goes outside that, that will be okay now uh, what we have to do because we didn't have equal segments of this line now we have to equalize it I'm just gonna fix this part a bit so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a modifier on top of it normal spline and I think that 20 segments will work fine. 
as you can see we have a bit nicer line now and we're gonna convert it to editable, editable spline change the vertices yeah that's okay I can make a quick fix on this part to make it more round like that and here also just make it look like a road you will want to drive on okay that's fine uh, we're gonna turn off optimize and lower the number of steps to zero or we can increase it to one or maybe even let's say two okay and then we're gonna extrude this line but just a bit so we have a we have it a bit wide thin high <laughs> no. then we're gonna put a shell modifier and make it wide as we want to so let's say this will be okay and turn it to a poly I have a sh shortcut for it will poly here on my user interface so next thing we need to do is make a copy of this road but just a second first we're gonna delete this end polygons so you can easily select top and bottom part like that and delete then we're gonna make a copy at the instance but copy and hide this original road select this duplicate and we're gonna select cross edge click ring and holding while well, holding control click on polygon to select top polygons of this object then we're gonna make a bevel on this and increase values so that this object is going over the all parts of the terrain for example here it's not but I'm gonna increase this a bit more okay okay if it's not going over because by increasing the height you will also lower the angle of the slope you can leave it that way but then manually raise those vertices so that they're going over the terrain like that and here here and here and this one also has to go up like that let's see any anywhere else yeah here we have it also like that oh and also here we can use uh, we want to use soft selection because uh, soft selection could affect this bottom part that we don't want to affect so we'll just do it manually basically you won't have too much parts like this just on somewhere is a bigger difference beside the, between uh, road level and peaks of the terrain so it's generally not too much work to do let's see this one can be done all at the same time and one more oh that's okay for now 
good. Next, we're gonna select the bottom part. Basically, not bottom part, but other duplicate. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> I have hide it. Unhide all. Yeah, here it is. Now make another copy. Hide the original. And we're going to select edge, this one, ring, and control, click on polygon to select this bottom part. OK, great. And we're going to do also a bevel here. So what we're doing now, we're doing slopes on the terrain. In the same way we did the slices in the terrain with this top part. Increase the values until you get desired effect. This needs more height. Well, let's say it's okay. Now select the terrain. Trinity did, but poly if it's not and attach, attach this bottom part. Well, uh, this is why I did uh, separate bottom and top part, because now we're going to use boolean to cut into the terrain, so that, that will have to be a different object. So we're going to select this terrain and go to compound objects, pro boolean, don't use the regular boolean because it won't work here. And here it is. Now we have the terrain that has cut in, that was cut so that it follows the road and also it has slopes under the road. Next thing we have to do, because this is kind of a mess now, but if you want a nicer terrain, you have to do next. Create one plane, just a bit smaller than this bottom terrain. Then change the number of segments to your desired number. I'm going to leave it basically as it is like that. Gonna raise it on top of this one. Then use under compound objects conform option and in top view select this bottom part but hide var to object first. Like that. Uh, next we're gonna do we're gonna turn this plane into it will poly select polygons and by using brush selection uh, this, uh, this. we're gonna select just this polygons where our road will be by that. Uh, we're doing that because we're gonna add a smooth, a mesh smooth now to this part, to a level, so that we have a bit more details on detail on this part where we will oh, I just undo it. I'll need to select a bit more here, like that. Uh, well, so we'll, we have a bit more details on this part to look nicer and we don't need that much of polygons on the rest of the terrain. Okay, now from top view we're gonna select under compound objects conform, click on height to warp, height warp to object and select this button terrain. Great, 
now we can delete or hide this old object and here it is unhide all to get a road back we're gonna need to raise it up there it is and that's it I had some errors here but I think you get the main point now you can do create more details on your road play a bit with the terrain texture it and make it look nicer okay thank you very much for watching and listening I hope that you learned something and I apologize for my English it's not my main language so I hope that you also understand what I was talking thank you and goodbye